Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash AK. I'm a Ghostbuster and today I'm doing a review of Super Sunny Island on Xbox. Now this was recently released onto the store on the 2nd of the 9th, 2022. Published by Rattleiker Games who were kind enough to send me a copy for this video review so big thank you to them for that. And it's developed by Light Up, who we have covered a few of their games previously, Wild West Crops, um, they've released stuff as like Barry the Bunny, Mina and Michi, um, Super Boxland Demake, uh, quite a lot of them that have been ported over to Xbox, and this is another one in their sort of stable of games. You can tell because it has that really cool, sort of like bright, colourful art style to it, which I really like. Um, they really do pop out of the, the, the screen and they do sort of shine. They make me think of like snes games like mario and stuff like that old classic sort of pixelated snes games um the best kind as well like yoshi's island and stuff like that so um this is their new game and it's a retro style 2d platformer where you play as a penguin called sunny and basically um one day, Sonny, uh, he finds this new island that's full of life, lush green things. Uh, unfortunately, there's like these pirates that uh, are coming to plunder the peaceful island and they're building a robot army. So he basically um, fights back. So he's, he's got this little like water gun uh, that he can use to shoot the enemies. And the whole point of the game is to progress through all of the levels, um, collecting keys, to progress and beat in the bosses basically now there's five different zones and to progress to each zone you have to get a key from each of the bosses now in each of the areas there's a variety of different levels one thing i do like about this game is all of the levels are already unlocked so you can attempt them in any order i just did it in the standard one to uh, onwards um apart from when i didn't realize i was going the opposite direction but it does mean like i say if you are struggling you're able to skip a level and move on without being just stuck and getting frustrated now you need to collect keys in each of the levels collecting three keys allows you to unlock a chest and in that chest are these special coins and you need to collect so many of these coins in each of the zones to enable you to uh, take on the boss now in each of the levels you've got multiple enemies that you have to shoot uh, or avoid and you do have a limited amount of ammo for your water gun so uh, i do recommend that you um fill up with the water droplets that you can find around the map as often as possible but um you can like say if you use your brain and just avoid the enemies at times um you can go without actually firing it and as you progress through the game you do unlock new abilities like you get like a charge shot um uh, over just the standard one you start with and other things like that now you also collect fruit through the levels collecting so many of these sort of uh gives you a like you can take an extra hit or you can collect these sort of like little potion vials and they basically give you an extra bit of clothing like you get a hat a, um, glasses stuff like that and all that means you can take an extra hit and when you take a hit you lose that piece of clothing um but the more sort of fruit you collect the more um life you'll basically have now the levels, like I say, themselves aren't super tricky. They're all pretty straightforward. There's five different themes, uh, and they're all pretty um, different in the sort of the way they look. But they all stand out, and they've all got really cool colours and stuff like that. And then there's a variety of different bosses at the end of each stages. Now, the first one is like this bird that sort of like throws coconuts at you and attacks you. There's a bat enemy, and like a boss, and there's also a snake enemy as well that you can take on. As you progress through the levels, there's new things to do. Obviously, there's falling platforms, pushable boxes, stuff like that. There's like sw swimming sections where you've got to sort of like jump out of uh, the swimming area. There's traps to avoid. All that sort of things you would expect in a standard sort of retro 2D platformer. Now, one thing I do like about this game is uh, it is an easy 1,000 gamer score as well. So if you're into your achievements, you can get the full 1,000 gamer score in about half an hour, depending on your skill level. Because at the moment, you only have to complete um, 30 levels to get 30 coins and beat the first and second boss. So you have to basically complete one full zone and then about half of the levels on the next zone 
to get all of the achievements. But it's a really fun game. Like I say, it's a shame you can get all the achievements so quickly because it does mean some people will not play this to the end. And it's a shame because it is quite a fun little game. But I understand why they do it uh, anyway. Now, the game is playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It does support smart delivery and it's optimised for Xbox Series X and S with 60fps and 4K resolution. And it's usually priced at £4.99, but it's got that launch special of £1 off for £3.99 available for another about a week depending on what day I upload this video. So check it out, like I say, Super Sunny Island, fun little retro platformer, handles really well, like I say, I like the boss fights and stuff like that, it's got a nice chiptoon soundtrack to it as well, very colourful 8-bit style graphics, very reminiscent of the SNES, like I've said, and if you're an achievement hunter, like I say, an easy 1000 gamer score, and it's not extremely expensive. So check it out, it's available right now on the store, and big thank you to Rattleaker Games for providing us with a copy for this video review. But other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content, guys. Bye for now.